Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to create a class and initialize it with name and roll number, design the methods, display to display all the student information, set age to assign age to the student, set marks to assign marks to the student. So uh, in this program, we need to create a class called as uh, uh, say student and then we need to add some attributes. The attributes uh, are name, uh, roll number and uh, you can say age and uh, marks. So these are the four uh, attributes we need to add into that particular class. Uh, there are uh, three methods. The first method is to display all the student information. The second method is to set the age of that particular student and uh, third one is to set the marks and one more thing uh, said in the problem definition is at the time of creating an object we need to initialize the name and roll number so that is what uh, the intention of this particular problem definition so first we create a class uh, called as a student and then uh, we say this one as a student class now what we need to do here is uh, we need to initialize uh, uh, the student name and roll number uh, there are the other two uh, attributes like uh, age and marks will be set using a different method so what i do here is i will write a definition def uh, underscore underscore init this is the initialization method whenever an object of a class is created uh, it will be executed so in it uh, the self that is the first parameter to it the second one is uh, name initially i don't know what is the name so i will set it as none Second one is uh, roll number, I will take as uh, RNO. I don't know what is the roll number, so I will set it as none again. Uh, age, again I don't know what is the age, so I will set it as uh, none. And finally, marks will be set to none again. Now what is the next thing I need to do is, uh, we need to uh, initialize uh, the, all the attributes, that is self.name is equal to name. Uh, and uh, self dot uh, rno is equal to rno self dot age is equal to age self dot uh, marks is equal to marks so what i have done in this particular uh, init function is i i have initialized all the four attributes so what is the second method in this case is uh, I will come to the display method later. So first we will try to set the age of that particular student. So how can I set the age of the student is I need to write a method called uh, set age and then uh, the age is to be the parameter and uh, the object uh, name will be the first parameter. So that will be copied into self and uh, the age will be the second parameter to it. So self dot age is equal to you can say that age. So what I have done in this particular thing is I have assigned uh, uh, age to that particular uh, student what is the second thing is we need to set marks to that particular student so set marks again uh, it will take two things one is the student object and the second one is marks as a second parameter so self dot marks is equal to marks so this is the next thing now what is the next thing i need to do is i need to write a definition to display this particular message so display uh, you can say that a self so that is uh, the student object so how can I do that particular thing is print uh, student name is uh, you can say that person rather than going with the format specifier directly I will write uh, that is self dot name I just copy it because the same thing will be copied here student uh, what is this roll number is what is the roll number self dot rno what is the next one student uh, age so self dot age here it will be student ages and what is the last one the last one is marks so self dot marks so here it will be student marks r now this is how actually I will be able to write another method which will display all the student information. Now what I need to do is I need to create an object. Let us say that the uh, student object is uh, std. 
so std is equal to uh, you can say that uh, student that is the name of the class now what i need to do is uh, uh, if you look at the problem definition at the time of creating an object of that particular class i need to initialize uh, uh, the what we can say that the name as well as role number okay and then uh, what i need to do is i need to call a set age uh, so that i can set the age to whom i am going to set i am going to set uh, to this particular student that is std so std dot set age let us say that 20 and then uh, std dot uh, you can say that marks i want to set the marks for that particular student let us say that 24 and then uh, what is the last thing i need to do i need to display that particular uh, student information so std dot display so this will display the student information so what i have done in this case is i have created an object named uh, std the uh, parameter to I have passed two parameters because I need to initialize these two things uh, initially that is name and uh, role number and remaining two attributes are initialized with the help of uh, another two methods uh, one is called as set age and one uh, another is called as set marks and then uh, I will be displaying the information with the help of display we just check it out whether it is working fine or not uh, if you look at the result uh, the student name is uh, Mahesh Vidhar student roll number is 45 the age is 20 and marks are 24 so this is how uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, write a very simple python program to create a class and initialize it with the name and roll number and uh, we can write some different methods so first method is to set the age of the student second one is to set the marks of that particular student and the last one is to display the student information I hope uh, the program is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Sub subscribe the channel for more videos and uh, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.